This is Pete with Wrap My Spider. Today we're going to show you a quick video on how to wet apply our reflective uh, graphics that have transfer tape. So we've already prepped the surface in advance. We're ready to start our install. We also have our vertical center hinge that runs from the nose of the bike uh, up to the top of the frunk and that gives us our center and that's a guide for our stripe to make sure we have it nice and straight as you're doing your install. So um, to begin we want to mention about our slip mix that we use. This is a 32 ounce bottle of water and we uh, put inside here just two corn kernel size drops of Johnson's baby shampoo and that gives us enough slip to uh, help apply the graphics with no air bubbles, uh, but it also doesn't affect the adhesive uh, once it sets up. So to begin the install, we are going to peel back half of the graphic, expose the adhesive, wet it, and then squeegee it out, and then uh, do the same process on the bottom side of the, of the hinge. So this is the adhesive side, you can see the transfer tape that's uh, keeping your gap. This is the backing paper uh, which protects the adhesive side. So we're going to get rid of the backing paper. And then we're going to spray down the adhesive side misting the adhesive. We're going to mist the surface area. Once we've done that, then we can uh, start our install. So whenever you're squeegeeing the material out, you're squeegeeing from the center to the outsides. And you can go over it multiple times. And the film isn't going to tack real hard because of having the moisture uh, underneath it. But that moisture is going to ensure that you don't have any kind of air bubbles. So we have this lightly tacked. Now we can carefully remove our center hinge. And then we're going to expose the bottom half and do the same thing. Now one thing about doing it this way is you have to be patient. Uh, and that patience is with regard to peeling off the top transfer tape because you put it on wet. So now we're exposing the second half of the graphic. I'm gonna lightly spray. And set the material down. You can see it's going to fall into the position and we're starting in the center and we're working to the outsides. And that transfer tape is holding the stripes where they need to go. And you can see it's lightly tacking. Now at this point, we usually recommend that you wait about 10 minutes, come back to the project, and then re-squeegee again. Because you can see over here on this edge, it's doing a little bit of tun tunneling, which is completely normal. So don't let that alarm you. It's just because you applied the film wet. So you can continue to squeegee many times to expedite. We take a little bit of heat. And apply that to the surface. So you would hold your heat source back. Just warming it. And that helps any moisture to breathe out quicker.
again, it's best to be patient and not rush this when you're doing a wet install. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna move on. So now you would just uh, uh, get a loose corner of your transfer tape. When you peel the transfer tape, you always wanna peel it back on top of itself. So I'm not pulling up, I'm pulling back. And this is gonna help the material to transfer without picking it up. does pick it up, just lightly slide it down, push it again. Now we're exposing the actual graphic which is being transferred. This is um, reflective black. Now you can see when by putting it on wet, you have absolutely no air bubbles. Again, you would go over the graphic, warm it, to make sure everything's down and then repeat the same process on the other side. So it doesn't hurt once the transfer tape is off to go back over it with heat just to help to set the adhesive. Remember not to get it too hot depending on your heat source but the whole idea is just to help that water breathe out. You can also set the bike out in the sun once it's been installed and let it sit. So in a nutshell, that's basically how we recommend that you would apply um, in particular reflective film that has transfer tape. It's best to do it wet. You have to be a little bit more patient, but as you can see, there's absolutely no air bubbles in it and it laid out perfectly. Um, you can see all of our products for Can-Am Spiders at wrapmyspider.com. Thank you.